Coming up on 10 News, President Trump addressed the nation for the first time since Iran launched more than a dozen missiles at U.S. troops. And the saga continues. Archaeologists find more graves at a forgotten cemetery in Tampa. 10 News this evening starts now. Ahead on 10 News, archaeologists find 115 more graves from a forgotten cemetery in Tampa. So where do we go from here? Plus, thousands of families in Puerto Rico decide to sleep outside in case of another earthquake. What's being done to help the island? But first. Iran appears to be standing down, which is a good thing for all parties concerned and a very good thing for the world. President Trump says there were no casualties in last night's attack on two American military bases in Iraq. Thanks for joining us on 10 News this evening. I'm Katie McCall. And I'm Allison Croft. A day after Iran launched more than a dozen missiles at U.S. troops in Iraq, President Trump said the United States is ready to embrace peace with all who seek it. A defense. Where do we go from here? That is the question that leaders are asking after archaeologists find 115 more graves from the forgotten Zion Cemetery in Tampa, this time on property belonging to businessman Richard Gonsmart. This week's discovery brings the total amount of graves from Zion to about 300. In August, archaeologists detected 126 graves after a Tampa Bay Times investigation suggested the cemetery was under Robles Park Village. Crews found 55 more under a towing lot in December. 10 News reporter Emerald Morrow explains why leaders say the work is still not done. Race that was done in the history books. The Tampa Housing Authority says it will be working on a plan to figure out what comes next. It owns more than half of the property on top of Zion, but there's a long way to go, and there could be even more graves underneath buildings that archaeologists could not get to. Emerald has been working her sources on these lost graves for months now. You can see all of the locations where investigators are checking for possible cemeteries at WTSP.com erased. Firefighters and other South Florida agencies will head to the island for two weeks to help with the recovery efforts there. South Florida Task Force 2 includes 45 people who will bring 90,000 pounds of equipment to that island. That equipment is sorely needed. There are several ways that you can help as well. You can donate money to the Red Cross or to the Hispanic Federation. After Hurricane Maria, the organization created a program specifically for disaster relief. You can also donate money to World Central Kitchen. Renowned chef Jose Andres is on the island right now with his nonprofit handing out free food. You can also head to one of our local blood centers to help out. One Blood is donating blood to hospitals in Puerto Rico. You can help by going to one of four local centers. The Tampa Bay. Credit card skimmers, these have been a big problem at gas stations all around Tampa Bay, but critics say a lot of gas station operators have been slow to switch their pumps over to the safer chip reader technology. Now a threat from Visa and MasterCard could finally get service stations to make those long-awaited upgrades. The banks behind those cards say after October, gas stations where those security improvements have not been made will be responsible for the financial loss. A company that operates more than 50 service stations all around Tampa Bay says it converted the pumps about four months ago. We did have a skimmer issue once in the past um, where I think it's definitely a good investment for them. It's estimated that it will cost about $4 billion for U.S. gas stations to switch their pumps to those newer chip reading pumps. But proponents say skimmers are costing consumers around $2 billion in fraudulent charges each year. And you can always find the cheapest gas in the Tampa Bay area with our interactive gas tracker. Just head to WTSP.com slash gas. The FBI is saying it's definitely a good investment for them. It's estimated that it will cost about $4 billion for U.S. gas stations to switch their pumps to those newer chip reading pumps. But proponents say skimmers are costing consumers around $2 billion in fraudulent charges each year. And you can always find the cheapest gas in the Tampa Bay area with our interactive gas tracker. Just head to WTSP.com slash gas. The FBI is saying yeah. country. Scientists predict levels could rise by four feet over the next 80 years. Bobby, is that right? Yeah, that's what they're saying in some of the models that they're running right now. Imagine two to four foot storm surge. I mean, this right? building, not at four feet, not quite underwater, but it'd be close. So uh, there's a lot of areas, that even out at the beaches, that would obviously be looking at some damage yeah. if we had that much water. So you got to make some plans just in case. All right. 
there's always something cool going on here. The annual Consumer Electronics Show is underway in Las Vegas right now. That's where companies are showing off their newest and coolest gadgets. And robots have really been a huge focus this year. They deliver packages, cook, and even keep you company. Kara Sue Boy is showing off the latest. Okay, that thing is so great. You're gonna program it to be like, I love you. You I are so you. awesome. <laughs> like <laughs> every day. Thousand dollars. Wow. Oh, but the robots that are cooking and serving right? food, which would you rather have them? Cook you dinner or bring you your dinner? Totally cook it. Yeah, yeah. for sure. What about you? Yeah, I think so. That's a tough question. Yeah. Cook my dinner and then I can plate it and, and then eat it. Be your friend and hang out <laughs> with you while you eat your dinner. Follow you around the house a little bit. <laughs> Man, they come up with some crazy stuff cool. there, huh? So Tampa has a new team to root for. Right now on 10 News This Evening, a squirrely problem leaves a homeowner with thousands of dollars in damage. What you should know before you file a claim. Burn the recyclables? Counterproductive or a way to make way for more stuff at the curb? What communities are doing to go green? Plus, move over NFL, the XFL is making a play to be your go-to entertainment. 10 News at 5.30 starts now. And that's where we start. We want to hear your say, Tampa Bay. The new XFL Football League officially kicks off season one just one month from today. So the league resurrected by WWE's Vince McMahon is promoted to be fast-paced, fan-oriented, and cheaper than going to an NFL game. So are you excited for the XFL season? You can head to WTSP.com slash vote or scroll down to the As Seen on TV section of the 10 News app and vote there. While you do that, our Phil Buck shows you what makes this sport different. They sure do. All right, now that you've heard all of that, are you excited for the XFL season? So 52% of you say no, not interested. It looks like 40% of you just jumped to I watch. And my favorite here, Allison, is this one. What's the XFL? What is it? So you can keep voting through the As Seen on TV section of our 10 News app. We're going to check back on those results coming up at 6. Go to WTSP. Health leaders in Hillsborough County continue their fight against the transmission of HIV and hepatitis C among drug users. They're now looking to start a needle exchange program there. This allows people to exchange used needles for new ones in an effort to reduce the transmission of blood-borne infections. The program would provide on-site first aid, access to Narcan, a drug used to reverse the effects of an overdose and mental health counseling. This would be done through mobile health units at one or more fixed locations. Several physicians would be overseeing the program. USF and Tampa General Hospital would sponsor it. The program is also endorsed by the Centers for Disease Control and other government agencies. I just wanted to say that we, we basically have the infrastructure. Public health experts say there are several benefits to having a needle exchange program. It reduces HIV risk, does not increase IV drug use or crime, and it's also cost effective. More than 600,000 cancer deaths are expected in the U.S. this year alone. But despite that number, there is hope. A new report reveals that death rates in some cancers are going down. Nichelle Medina reports. All right, all right. Here we go. No change in the scars from your... No. Fred Powers first battled melanoma 17... Cancer remains the second leading cause of death after heart disease in American men and women. The doors are still locked. What she found in her house wasn't the intruder she expected. It is a scene almost straight out of Christmas vacation, only this is a very real nightmare and it happened to one Atlanta family. When they got back from a week-long vacation over the holidays, they thought someone had broken into their house because of the big mess that they found. But it turns out a small furry critter is to blame. Inside this bucket area home, all of that from a squirrel. It's going to cost that family $2,000 just to clean up that mess. That does not include the cost of fixing the windows or the furniture. They say their insurance company denied their claim because rodents are not covered. They made the, this a lot worse. They said if it had been a raccoon, that would have been a different story. Different animal, different coverage, guys. I mean. Yikes. How mad would you be? Yeah. Can you imagine coming home and your house is destroyed like that? Oh. What's that one commercial that runs? We have a 10 news alert to tell you about in Southern Highlands County. Check this out. Firefighters have been trying to get a handle on this fire at the 4-H Center at Camp Cloverleaf. The maintenance building and everything inside was a total loss. That's more than $100,000 in damages. Some other spot fires have also popped up in the near nearby Orange Grove there. No word yet on how the fire at the maintenance building started. 
People of all faiths are gathering in downtown Sarasota tonight to join their voices in one unified message, no more hate. A rally is taking place near the popular Kissing Soldier statue in downtown Sarasota. It's a way for the community to support one another. Ten years there's so much more that binds us together mm -hmm. than divides us. Yeah, yeah. It's a great message. The Jewish Federation of Sarasota held rallies days after the synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh last year, and thousands of people attended. Tonight, no hate signs will be held up, showing support for Jews from people of all faith backgrounds.